Question 4. How did you use media technologies in construction and research, planning and evaluation stages? Research For research, first of all, we used blogger.com to add all our research planning and evaluation. The good thing about this was that we were allowed to post drafts before publishing the blog post. This allowed us to return later if we had any adjustments to make. To research short films in horror genre, we used the site youtube.com to find useful similar products to match our film and give us ideas. This was done mostly by the iMac. We could have never got access to the internet without the actual hardware. To get feedback from our audience about films they watch, we recorded them next to a green screen and edited the footage on Final Cut Pro X. This was very effective because while they were talking about the genre horror and what they like, we added a scary still image behind them so it creates that atmosphere. We got a response from our audience for radio trailers and what they like, so we recorded them through a dictaphone as a vox pop and merged their answers together to create an effective look. We also used the application called WhatsApp because it is an instant and free app on mobile devices. We used this application to conduct and gather audience view of our logo for our poster and many other feedbacks. We also used this application to communicate with each other and finalise deadlines for posts together. We used Audacity to plan our radar trailer. Audacity was a very good software to use to create our draft trailer as there was a tool called Timeshift which we used to merge sounds together to create a 35 second trailer. This tool also allowed us to overlay our sounds so it sounds professional and effective. We also used Microsoft Word to plan our poster. This wasn't very professional, but the way we were creative with it was good as we used Word art to create the bubbly poster look. At the production stage, we used the Canon T3i DSLR camera with a rolled shotgun mic to shoot our scenes for our films. Along with this, we used a tripod to keep the camera still and get a perfect footage. The camera allowed us to develop our creative control and develop the quality of our footage. We used a dictaphone to record our actors phone call scene. We were very creative with it as we used a real phone and speaker to get the real effect of a phone call and recorded it straight to the dictaphone so it has a rough effect too. After filming, I made sure I took the SD card home and added all the footage to my home laptop bio so then everything is backed up and we won't need to face any problems of lost footage. We used audio recording software with Rode NT2 microphone and pop shield to allow our actors to record for our radio trailer. This was used to give the professional look instead of recording from a dictaphone which could have sounded unprofessional and very childish. We used Logic X to create and edit our radio trailer professionally. We used the reverse reverb tool to create the echo sound of our actors so that it sounds realistic and very effective for our audience. We also used the tool to change a normal voice to a demonic voice. The tool was called Pitch Tool. We had to minus the dBs to make the voice sound deep and scary. For the poster, we used Adobe Photoshop. 
This allowed us to add any pictures and writing and overlay them professionally. We also used the transform tool to edit the pictures, text and enlarge them or place them wherever we want to. We also used the blur tool to smudge a specific picture that was pasted on the page so it looks so it looks part of the poster and doesn't look unprofessional and edged out. The gradient tool was also good because that was the easier and faster way to smudge a pasted picture. We used Final Cut Pro X to edit our 5 minute film. This was very essential and, good, and a good software to use to edit videos. We used the blade tool to cut things that weren't necessary in our film. The blade tool also allowed us to merge together any scenes that need to come together which will also make our narrative clean too so it wouldn't confuse the audience. We also used effects on Final Cut so it gives the horror film look and it fits very well with the genre. This software is amazing because it allowed us to add sound, voice inserts, effects, text and video footage together to create one full video. My evaluation questions are creative but this one was the most creative. We were very crea creative with the evaluation question as we used the green screen again but in a more creative way. We wanted to look like a new show so we added a live video of people walking behind the presenters to give it a realistic look. Doing the green screen is very basic, you have to have a green screen and most importantly use the final cut to add the Kia.